What's going on, Toxic Gamers? Today we got the PS5 Pro versus PS5 gameplay graphics comparison. We got a bunch of games out here. A lot of people are hella excited for this one. A lot of people are hella mad as well. I guess one day we're also gonna be able to compare GTA 6 as well. I cannot wait for that day, ladies and gentlemen. We got a bunch of games that I wanna show you guys in this video. We got the Black Myth Wukong. We got Spider-Man 2. And on top, we also have Alan Wake 2, where we're gonna compare PS5 versus PS5 Pro versus PC and also Xbox Series X the world's most powerful console ladies and gentlemen let's find out which one is it shout out to the homie l and alista like the video if you like it subscribe if you're new roll it let's find out okay let's see what's going on in this one so this is fidelity pro mode on the ps5 pro performance pro fidelity performance fidelity pro okay okay just a little like I, I see like two extra pixels so far and i kid you not i was reading comments so a guy highlighted that in this video and i will show you and i saw like two seconds off it just so like we can have like raw live reaction in the video but i wanted to verify it firsthand a guy commented said that ps5 pro only have five extra frames and i verified it it felt like it was true, but I only saw the clip for two seconds, so we're gonna watch it like for longer when the the FPS count comes up. So performance mode, fidelity, high. Okay, 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 okay. So the high ray tracing is called clearly better for sure. Performance pro, fidelity. Man, even bro, the game looks like PS3 when you do fidelity pro, right? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Of course, like, when you play it, it's not this bad, though. Of course, it's graphically, the game is bussin', you know? But when we saw the the side-by-side -side comparison, it was not that impressive for Perche, you know? So, 4K 30 with ray tracing. Ooh, fidelity. Okay, you got 60 FPS, that's good. Then you do performance. But it's dynamic resolution. 2K, which is, too, for me, that's I. You know, I'll say that for me, that's it. I'm happy as long as the games are like 1080, 60. But I get it though, right? Like uh, people like different, different people like different strokes. So different strokes for different folks. Ever heard that? Bruh. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> Key light shadows is the, like the major difference. And we got a bunch of other games that we're going to get into as well, guys. So Fidelity. So this is uh, Fidelity PS5 and this is Fidelity Pro mode. Damn, so they're really calling it Pro mode. So what's uh, like really? Yo, what the f <laughs> ah! Yo, I'm not gonna lie to a certain degree. This building on the normal PS5 Fidelity looks way better than the PS5 Pro. How is that even possible? Not way better, but clearly looks better. Even the trees are more sharper than the, the PS5 Pro. What? What the hell? Draw distance looks better? A am, am I am I tripping? What? It actually is better on the normal PS5. Oh shit! Oh, what the hell? What the hell? How many of you guys bought the PS5 Pro though? Nah, this I, I think he tripping. I think this is the PS5 Pro and the other one is normal PS5. No way. Say psych. Say psych right now. Draw distance. Yeah, performance is the way. We love performance. We love performance. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like same-ish, right? So for 800 euros, 700 USD, 1200 Canadian dollars. Which one do you think is better? I want to get to the FPS thing, right? I want to get to the FPS thing. <laughs> I want to get to the FPS thing right now, man. And let's see, like, uh, and I want to play, like, and I want to check out, like, other games, too. Check this. 47, 49, 50. Bruh. So, normal PS5, 47. 5, 6 FPS difference, guys. What the hell? That is crazy to me. That is crazy to me. So, uh, so I, the rumors are saying that GTA 6, if it turns out to be... 30 fps on the normal ps5 and series x xbox it's more than likely gonna be 30 fps on the ps5 pro as well that's what digital foundry is saying it, it doesn't mean that it's 100 gonna happen but i mean that's what they're saying and seeing this right now kind of makes sense i mean holy crap 
and, and I got a PS5, guys. Don't get me wrong. I'm not like a Sony Pony hater or PS5 hater or Xbox Andy. I'm just trying to be real with you guys. Just trying to be honest with you. And, and I'm waiting. I'm waiting. If GTA 6 turns out to be like good, uh, good buy on PS5 Pro, then I'll get PS5 Pro. Absolutely. I said that before. I'll uh, say it again. So I'm not against the idea. And if you bought PS5 Pro, I mean, it's your money, right? You do you. But from an objective standpoint, standpoint, it almost has it. What the hell? The frame rate is almost the same. So sometimes the normal PS5 is jumping to 66. Other times, uh, you know, PS5 Pro is around 66, 62. What the hell? And you got like the peaks there. So it only has like a couple of spikes there. What? Uh, and you got like this one, right? So frame rate is pretty much same-ish between PS5. PS5 is blue here. Purple is PS5 Pro. And at some points, PS5 Pro underperforms PS5. What? Say psych right now. How is that even possible? That is that gotta be fake, man. What the hell, Sony? You suck is really charging people 1200 Canadian. You guys out of your goddamn mind for this one. At least if the frame rates were doubled. Graphically, the game is amazing. I'm not judging that guys. Uh graphically Spider-Man 1 was amazing. This one is even better. And on both, graphically it's better, but in certain parts, normal PS5 looks a little better than PS5 Pro. Here, I really can't tell the difference, uh, to be honest. Can you tell the difference? If you have like a really solid TV or monitor, maybe not even monitor, I guess it gotta be TV, right? If you got a big ass TV, right? And that is good, latest technology, and you're playing the game at 4K, I guess then you're gonna notice a difference. But see, the, the thing is that, most people are not gonna see a massive difference because if you got PS5 Pro, the chances are you sold out your PS5, right? You know what I mean? You feel what I'm saying? So like, I, I don't know about it. This video has no sound, so that's why I played that sound in the background. So this is uh, Black Myth Wukong PS5 Pro performance. This is normal PS5 performance quality mode. Not that, not that big of a difference, honestly. Mm. Are we getting robbed? I think we're getting robbed. But yeah, like I was saying, if you got a big ass TV with latest technology, then you're gonna notice a little bit of difference. But again, it's one of those things, right? If you don't have PS5 at that point to compare it to, then you wouldn't necessarily know. Uh, yeah. Not that big of a difference, that is crazy. iGen gave it a 70 as well. I saw 7 out of 10. And if iGen gives something 7 out of 10, that means it's uh, kind of mid. It's bad. For them, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But generally speaking, 7 out of 10 is a good rating. 7 out of 10 is a good rating, generally. Okay, on this one? Sheesh! Okay, performance. Oh no, it's dipping. It's dipping. That's wild to me. That That's wild to me that it's not even solid 60 FPS. What is wrong with these suckers? I, I almost said, okay, so 30 FPS here and 60 here. I almost gave it. I almost gave the point to PS5 Pro, but now we're seeing a dip. I don't know, guys. That's wild. But okay, it is better on PS5 Pro, frame rate wise. 10 extra frames, 15 extra frames at times, too. Yeah, okay. But 700, $700, $700, you guys crazy? Y'all, like, y'all suck as what? What the hell? This is me right now. Okay, guys, listen, man. Am I a hater for saying this? Am I a hater for saying this? That we're in the year 2024. It's almost 2025. Perhaps you're watching this video in 2025. Maybe even in the future, like 2030, 2050. Let me know what year you're watching this video. Because, yes, people are going to come back to this video uh, and see, like, graphics. Because the gra graphics comparison are these types of videos where people are always interested and intrigued by the performance and the the the, the way game looks uh, on different systems. But am I crazy to say this? That it's almost 2025. We got PS5 Pro, $700 machine with specs, and on the box it says 8K. Not okay. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure about PS5 Pro box there, but on the normal PS5 it said 8K, right? Even on the Xbox Series X. 120 fps as well and game is struggling to hit 60 fps insane to me baffling baffling i'm, I'm assuming it's almost gonna be similar because of the ssd but let's find out 
but this one even if it's same ish or a little faster on ps5 pro yeah it's uh, it's all right yeah a little faster one one and a half second let's just say two seconds less than two seconds faster that part i mean yeah i mean it's almost the same ssd so i didn't i wasn't expecting it to be like a crazy difference and that's fair that's fine okay right here both of them 60 fps okay thank god thank god <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Oh my God, bro. It's different, man. It is different, bro. It is different, man. It is different. But okay, stable 60 so far on both. But that's the thing, though. On both, stable. So wh what's, uh, what's, why should we? Graphically almost similar. Man, that is wild. Crazy to me that, uh, 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 uh. And there goes my light. Bumble oh, Club Brothers! Bumble Club! Yeah, we got Alan Wake as well. I want to compare it with Xbox Series X as well. Shout out to the homie L and Alista for, for real, though. Yeah, I'm gonna charge the, charge the light real quick, man. PS5 performance mode, Sony Pony Gang rise up! Quality mode. That's a PS5 Pro. Mm, I mean, Black Myth Wukong does look good. I mean, all these games that we got in this video do look good. Generally. Okay, performance mode. This is PS5 Pro. A little sharper, I felt. Okay, so you got normal PS5 quality, and you got PS5 Pro quality mode. Yeah, a little difference. I, I do feel it, but is it enough for seven hundred dollars? Absolutely not. What are your thoughts on it? And if you bought the if you bought the console, guys, I, I get it though. You're addicted. I get it. Or you got the money and you wanted to play on the best console, right? I I understand. I get that part. I get that part. All right. But be honest. Even if you have it, do you notice a big difference? Like, be honest, guys. Like, it, it's not even about. Uh, hating on a console or it's not like we're hating on a console for the sake of it. I mean, I I I, I remember buying ps4 pro day one because there was uh, some level of difference, right? This one don't have any Or perhaps it's not even ps5 pro per se. It's more like hey video games uh, already look good on ps5 and we peaked in terms of graphics for now Maybe it's that you agree, you disagree, let me know. But at least for performance, man, this is uh and we're talking performance mode, we're not talking fidelity here. Shit, man, that that's wild to me, bro. That the game cannot even hit 60 FPS. Surely it's better. 46 than 36. Surely you've got 10 extra FPS, but all but but only 10. Only 10 extra 10 extra FPS. This suck is crazy. These suck as hell are crazy. I don't know, man. I wish I could say psych right now, guys. It's like 40 FPS right now, bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, 10 FPS uh, jump. Surely. Holy crap. Am I... Is this like fake? Imagine like this is fake. I don't think it's fake because it's coming from L and Alista. He's like very, very credible. Now let's actually talk about it. This is Judgment Day, guys. PS5 versus Xbox versus PS5 Pro. Roll it. And this is Alan Wake 2. This game, it's been a minute since it's out, right? So PS5 performance resolution. PS5 Pro quality. Performance. Man. Yeah, my console peasant eyes isn't even noticing like any difference look at this is pc pc a little slightly better but it's it's kind of crazy let's pause here for a second so you got quality mode series x 30 30 pc would be unlimited <laughs> unlimited xps uh, fps i should say yeah pc clearly the good i mean pc would always be i'm a console peasant so i love consoles xbox uh, ps5 is better than xbox series x so at least contrast wise at least contrast wise right PS5 Pro and PS5, not that big of a difference. PC, slightly better than everything. Slightly though. So, you know what, compliment wise, uh, I would say the big, the, the best thing here is that consoles are very close to looking like PC graphics, which is a W. You know, that's a W. For sure, 100%, 100%.
Yeah, just different kind of water reflection, right? Just, just that slightly. It's not that big of a deal, to be fair. But you would expect it a little more from PS4 Pro, a uh, PS5 Pro, my bad. Maybe GTA 6 is where we're gonna see huge difference. You guys believe that? You guys think that's possible? Because uh, GTA 6 is gonna be a massive game. Alan Wake, Spider-Man 2, these games are big too, don't get me wrong. But GTA 6 is gonna be bigger. I guess we can all agree, right? So maybe that game is gonna be really demanding. And these games, not super demanding. Yeah, PC clearly looks better. Yeah, absolutely. Consoles are good too, don't get me wrong, but uh, PS5 Pro ain't it. If you only got PS5, uh, then it ain't it. Unless GTA 6 is gonna be like super amazing on PS5 Pro where you notice big differences. Then yes, like sell your PS5 and get PS5 Pro or whatever you wanna do. If you already got it, you already got it then, right? Yeah. I'm definitely gonna get PS5 Pro if GTA 6 is amazing on it. Or I notice like a stark difference. So textures wise, you got Xbox Series X performance, PS5 quality. Yeah, similar. Didn't expect any big difference. PS5 uh, performance. Okay, let's see PS5 Pro though. Uh oh. Yeah, bruh. 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 So quality mode in comparison to performance on PS5. Same. It's it's like the same. It's the same game. Same console. Same image, bro. What the hell? What the hell, man? Man, we deserve better than that, bro. Like this is daytime robbery, bro. Daytime robbery. These suckers crazy, damn it. Crazy as hell, man. Crazy as hell. I wanna see the FPS. I wanna see the FPS. Okay, so we're getting the load time as well. Quality, performance. Ooh, so I added extra grass and called it a day. <laughs> yeah. Okay, on the performance, there's no grass. On the PS5 Pro performance, there was grass. But they had shadows around the grass. Bruh. So they had like a budget grass. Crazy, man. I just noticed that in passing. 12, 30. Oh my goodness. Okay, my goodness. Okay, PS5 is the winner. PS5 Pro is... Uh, uh, PS5 Pro is the winner, but I mean like PS5 in general is the winner. Even in comparison to the PC. But what are you gonna do with extra second, right? You want a cookie now? <laughs> you want a cookie, man? What are you gonna do with the extra one, right? Safe to say, this game looks amazing on all the platforms. But the video is, of course, about PS5 Pro in general. Ambient, ambient occlusion. Yeah, man, not convinced. And I feel like the people that didn't buy, if you're watching... If you did not buy the console and you're watching this video, are you convinced on buying the console or are you convinced on not buying the console let me know and i mean if you are if you got solid pc then there's no point i got a solid pc but i still prefer gaming on console why because uh the pc is primarily for youtube Bruh. uh prim primarily to make videos re render videos and all that yeah if i was just playing if i was playing games on pc and streaming at the same time uh my pc would wear out faster and if I just game on PC, my, my computer would wear out faster and I don't want that. To be fair though, I play sometimes uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator on PC and even though I got 64 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, or RTX 3090 as a graphics card, and, and what CPU I have? Uh, uh, of course I have an SSD as well. Uh, what CPU? Ryzen? Uh, I believe it's Ryzen 3900X. Yeah, that's the CPU. Uh, yeah, the Ryzen 3900, uh, 3900X. So yeah, my CPU is a little older for now. But you guys gotta understand that Flight Simulator, ca Flight Simulator came out in 2020. And I have 1080p set for the game. Not even 4K. I have 60fps set. I'm talking PC, by the way. Uh, and I have Graphics Ultra, but some settings I put like a little low. When I say low, I don't mean like low as a setting, but lower in comparison to ultra. And my game struggles. Every time I take the plane closer to the ground, I, it's like bugging. The game is bugging. So think about that for a second, right? That game on my RTX 3090 lags. What if that game was out right now on Series X, which I think it is or could be wrong. I don't know. 
correct me if I'm wrong, I, I don't have Xbox, right? So. But imagine that was out on PS5 Pro. Holy, that game would be lagging like crazy. <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe they would have optimized it better for console. Yeah, true. That's true as well. Okay, overall, this game is 60-60 on everything. Yeah, not that big of a difference. Let me know your thoughts and check out this video on the screen. We recently ended up getting GTA 6 Trailer 2 information, gameplay leaks as well. And there's a whole lot of drama going on with Donald Trump winning and, you know, Rockstar saying they don't want to release GTA 6 during his presidency. Whole lot of drama. Check out this video on the screen and I'll see you right there.